sticky soil. <laughs> Do you have the coolest aunt ever? Oh, you asked the shyest All right, kid. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you guys, did you guys bring bathing suits? Yeah. Yeah, what's that? You brought a bathing suit? Do you want to go swimming? There isn't no water. Yeah, <laughs> a couple hours, we're going to have water in there for you, okay, sister? How are you going to head the water down the stairs? We're going to put a liner in so it doesn't go into the ground, but that's a very good question. You should be a pond builder. You want to be a pond builder when you grow up? Well, I want to be like Sarah. Oh. <laughs> How long have you lived here? 94. Okay, if you don't know every neighbor already, you're about to know every single neighbor because you are gonna be the talk of the neighborhood with this front yard water feature. There is nothing you could put in a front yard that will make more of an impact than a decorative water feature. Good. I'm really hope. Looking forward to it. Have we known each other? Uh, a long time. A long time. 20 years? 20 years. 25 years? I don't so, know. So, for people that are thinking about this industry as a profession and decorative water features specifically, what is it about it that, that you would share with them? Some Com advice? Camaraderie. Mm -hmm. You will never find any other industry that could be painters that are going to share jobs. You know, we're busy. Oh, hey, great. You want to do this job? And here it is. Here are all the facts and the figures. We're give away everything. We not let, yeah, not. We let you know what you can do, what you can't do. <laughs> and and, and yeah. of course, we don't have any fun together, and do we? And we have fun. <laughs> and we have fun doing it. <laughs> These guys are serious. <laughs> We're serious about our, our work. Yeah. And having suppliers like you guys that teach and share countless years of mistakes mm -hmm. is what we need to do. You know, because everybody that hasn't built, you stumble, you fall down. And like us, we've built probably the most butt ugly ponds you sure. have ever beginning. seen. They're terrible. And you yourself live the aquascape lifestyle. You have a front yard water feature very similar to this at your house. Yep, Pond, and the whole front yard is pondless. I have a koi pond in the back mm -hmm. that is crystal clear. Yep. No algae. We do nothing to it. Clean the skimmer every two weeks. And how do you interact differently with the neighborhood now that you have a front yard water feature than before? Everybody knows the yeah. pond guy that their front yard doesn't look like anybody else's. Mm -hmm. So if you want to be different, don't put in a lawn, get rid of the lawn, put in a water feature. What does it take to be successful in this industry? Desire. That's it. Because if you have the will, to do hard work. Yeah, hard work. And even if you're not creative, if you want to be creative, you soak it in. You spend enough time with us contractors and Aquascape and, you know, Brian and Greg and Tony and Ed. You, you could get anything from them. You, have, you, you ask them, how do you do this? And they'll, oh, okay, here, write these notes down here. You got it. Do you remember your very first build upon day? Yeah. Where was it, Costa Mesa? It was Costa Mesa, Orange County Fair. Grounds. And you worked with our distributor out there to put a pond in. Yeah, and with Jerry McMahon. And, and you were a landscaper before that. Yeah. And then what was it about water features that really started to focus you on decorative water features versus just general landscaping? Money. Okay. Money. Talk about it was, that. It was, we, we could make more per day doing water features, more per hour, yep. than, than doing softscape design, irrigation, planting. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. Yeah. It was, it was just like fun. And people would clients, our customers, would actually thank you. And I was trying to soak that in right. after a while. You just have spent $12,000 on a pond and you're thanking me. Where it was with the landscaping, it's like, oh, this is not dirty anymore. Yeah. And they're thanking you for spending money. And it didn't, it wasn't the same way when you're doing bush, 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 shrub, 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 and doing hardscapes. No, no, no. A water feature customer is different than a landscape customer. Mm -hmm. It becomes friends. Yeah. Or my husband is finally calming down in the evenings and he's sitting by the pond. Amen. It's like, thank God he's like calming down yeah. after work. Yeah, it's a, it's a lifestyle. Completely. Let's go lay out a pond. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna set patio furniture out here to look at the waterfalls and everything else. So I want it as close to the patio as I can. See the size of that upper pool? Yeah, that's... It's a big upper pool, okay. fast moving stream right here, and then a waterfall is going in right here. machine in an aquascape build has been a dream of mine for years. Little did I know I had to bring my own machine to do it. I swear it's rocky soil. I'm not one to critique or anything, but this right. does not look right at this point. Look at what's happening. The problem is, is that the lip on the biofalls is not gonna get hidden well. If we look at the levels great here, but we've got this pearl necklace, we've got this ring of rocks coming around the outside. Looks completely contrived, it looks unnatural. There's no way to hide the biofalls properly over here because you see how low the rock is. So what we're gonna do is we gotta pull this rock, this rock, this rock, and we need to expand it out this way. By expanding it out this way, then it naturalizes the biofalls. It naturalizes that area. This, this is not gonna pass. I'm noticing a problem over here. One thing that is super, super critical with any pond build is, is that it has to look natural. It has to look perfect as if God put it first and the house came second. Let me show you what's going wrong over here. This file falls the way that it's rocked in right now. There's no way for it to hide naturally. And I'll show you why. If you look at the level, the level is, it's off. And the other problem is, and it should be up to around here so that we can backfill the soil right up against the lip. But the other problem is, is that if you look what happened here, is we rocked this in and we followed the line of the biofalls. And by doing that, it's gonna draw your eye, it's gonna draw your attention to this lip here. No matter how well you try to hide it, the soil is gonna fall off, it's not gonna look right. So what we have to do is we need to remove this rock, this rock, this rock, and this rock. We need to bulge that out and bring backfill in over here like this. And by doing that, it's gonna naturalize the look. Without that, you got a ring of rocks, you got a ring of pearls, and it just does not happen like that in nature. We gotta fix that, no big deal. We'll get her done right now. So we got a nice deep pond up here. This is gonna be six inches deep. We're gonna put some underwater lights in. When they reflect off of the water coming up the biofalls, it's gonna ripple, nice ripples on the house. Everybody coming up the street is gonna see that. We twist back with the stream. It's gonna be kind of a, only about an inch or two drop going in, but so the water's gonna flush over on that side. And because the skimmer's over there, we're gonna put a spillway over there to keep the water moving. Do you have the coolest ant ever? Uh, you asked the shyest All right, kid. So I'm gonna ask you guys, <laughs> did you guys bring bathing suits? Yeah. Who, yeah, what's that? You brought a bathing suit? Do you wanna go swimming? Are you ready to swim right now? You want to swim in the pond? There isn't no water. Yet. <laughs> Couple hours, we're going to have water in there for you. Okay, sister? How are you going to, but how's the water going to stay? We're going to put a liner in so it doesn't go into the ground, but that's a very good question. You should be a pond builder. We want to be a pond builder when you grow up? Well, I want to be like Sarah. Oh. <laughs> that's so sweet. <laughs> that's a good answer, boo. <laughs> Hey, excuse me. You guys, you guys want to give us a hand with the shovels? Sorry. <laughs> I bought three times your age. I couldn't do it. We got donuts. Hey, hey come over here. Let's go over and see these people. 
we're, what? we're watching. Oh, well, I kind of like your seats. I mean, you got I, this I set know. up. Yeah, we're the local window. gutter girls. We meet every Thursday, so this was very convenient for you to, to stand on our Did day. you say you're the gutter girls? Gutter girls. You we sit in the gutter? You see where we are. So you have a real entertaining thing today. That's right. So you, you heard what we're doing. We're putting in a water tower. I can't Tower? Yeah, like it's going to be like twice the size of the house. Fantastic. All right, they're cool neighbors. <laughs> they are. We are putting in a koi pond. Well, that's what I thought. I, well, I walked over and I could see multi layers. Yes. You need another backyard? Yeah, you know what? If we get done early, we'll just come on over. We got all oh, the guys and the fantastic. equipment. Fantastic. Everybody wants a pond, they just don't know it yet. Oh, so true. And this, so and true. you're the pond guy? So and where are you from? <laughs> I'm from <laughs> Chicago. Chicago? So I'm enjoying this beautiful side, San Diego south weather. Side, east side? West side. Well, this is our May Gray. Yes, I, I like it. It's it's good for flat filming. It's good. <laughs> all right. So you always there. I would imagine that Sarah's always got something going on around this house. She does. Oh, yeah. She's such a doll. She's done several neighborhoods, several yards up yep. in the neighborhood. Yeah, well, everyone's going to know this yard now. It's going to definitely stand out. We've in the been waiting yard. for a while. <laughs> so you knew that we were doing something today? Yes. Okay. So we scheduled our meeting early. <laughs> yeah, so we're here, front and center. So I'm the pond guy, Greg, from Chicago. Good to well, meet you, nice Greg. Greg. Welcome. Thank Absolutely. you. So these are nice rocks, what are they? Aren't they beautiful? This is the Cresta Boulder. I got them from Southwest Boulder and Stone. They are awesome, I work with them all the time. And I kind of like the blue color. I think it's gonna contrast nice with everything else. We I like the blue color, but it's heavy, so I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Second, Dave. Dave, hold on a second. You put your phone yes. In. So everybody, it's 12 o'clock. We got a late start with putting out 10 yards of uh, mulch, but I think everything's moving really smooth. Now, normally on a pond this size, we'd want to have the pond excavated, rocked, lined, and being filled by lunchtime. It's a little bit after lunch we're going to start filming this, but right now we're just building the waterfalls. The pond is already built. I love the edge that we use that natural log that we brought in. It's looking really good. Sarah, how are you feeling? I feel great. What do you think about what you were expecting versus what you're getting so far? I feel like I'm seeing it half baked and I can't wait to see it done, but it's exciting. <laughs> okay. No, I'm, I'm stoked. That yeah. This is like super cool coming together. All right, good job, everybody. Let's go lunch in the backyard right now. 